Viterbi and, and communication is a synonym, and you cannot refer to one without the other. Speaking about Andy, he has been and will be praised for many of his qualities, for leadership and scientific work. Dr. Viterbi is a unique combination of a scientist, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and above everything is a mensch. The Technion Faculty of Electrical Engineering, ranked one of the top 10 in the world, pioneering the frontiers of research and education at the heart of the digital revolution. Everyone here is familiar with the Viterbi name. The Viterbi algorithm is at work in almost every cellular phone in use today. The Viterbi family has always been close to Technion. Now students of electrical engineering at Technion are proud to study at a faculty that carries the Viterbi name. In 1939, when he was a child, Andrew Viterbi and his family fled Italy for America to escape the persecution of the Jews. His future wife, Erna Finzi, was born in Yugoslavia and spent much of World War II in hiding in Switzerland. Andrew once said that Erna was destined to be his wife, and the couple married in 1958. Together, they devoted their lives to advancing communications, promoting excellence in education, always holding Israel and the defense of its people close to their hearts. From MIT to Caltech's Jet Propulsion Lab to USC, Andrew Viterbi trailblazed the global communications field. The Viterbi algorithm allows rapid decoding and enables error-free wireless transmissions. It is an integral part of most wireless communications. This extends from cell phones and digital satellite broadcast receivers to voice recognition. Everyone around the world is somehow affected by this algorithm. His first big contribution, I would say, was the Viterbi algorithm, which he actually developed as a mean to teach his students to efficiently decode convolutional code. Then he applied this technique and he came up with what is now known as CDMA, which is the real standard of cellular communication all over the world. The Viterbi algorithm is used in many other models of physical phenomena and even in biology in deciphering long sequences as you have in the DNA. Putting it all together, this is something very unique to the accomplishment of one person. Andrew Viterbi co-founded Linkabit, a telecommunications consulting company, as well as Qualcomm, a world leader in 3G and next-generation mobile technologies. Andy invited me to Linkabit as a consultant, and I had the opportunity to benefit from his vision, his understanding, his knowledge. I learned very much from the way he discussed meetings. And in those meetings, people were interested to hear what you have to say. And that was for a young Israeli coming in, in the 60s. It was quite a revelation that this is possible. I owe to Andy on the personal level, thanks for the warm reception with which he and his family uh, greeted me when I came to San Diego to consult for Linkabit. Their home was open for us. I met Andy Viterbi very early in my career. I met him first at JPL, and since then we became friends, him and his wife, Erna, and his, later his kids. And the next step was to invite Andy to a small workshop that Professor Zakai, Professor Badavid and myself organized at the Technion in the late 60s. And this was his first exposure, actually, to Israel and to the Technion, especially to the EE department, of course. So it's a non-stop story since then, actually. In 1967, when Dr. Viterbi taught a series of lectures at the Technion, it was the start of a powerful relationship that would continue into the next millennium. Dr. Andrew Viterbi 
There is overflow of people from the industry and the Technion whenever he comes and gives a lecture. Because what's more gratifying to a student than to hear about a theory from the person who developed, who invented it. Andrew Vitarbi, his career is a lighthouse for many engineers in Israel. Uh, can show us the way of what people can achieve and do with technology, with uh, learning deep uh, fundamentals and then using them for uh, applied solutions in technology, whether it's in communication, storage, compute. Distinguished visiting Professor Viterbi's ongoing connection with the Faculty of Electrical Engineering shaped its rapid growth as it became a global source of innovation and technologies that secure Israel's future. If you come to look at the Israeli startup nation, and if you look at the genealogy tree, you'll see the electrical engineering faculty eventually almost in each one of them. The majority of the multinational, they've been established by the graduate of this faculty. If you look at the startups, some of them came directly from the tech union. So if we are trying to look at the impact, the impact is huge. The success of the Israeli high tech was based on communications and software. And that's in fact was the electrical engineering faculty of the Technion give to Israel. So all the startup and all the beginning of the high tech of Israel is origin from the Technion. Over the last 20 years, Technion alumni founded 1,602 companies and a stunning 35% of those alumni are graduates of electrical engineering. These companies created 95,500 technology sector jobs. More than half of those companies are in communications, thanks to the genius of luminaries like Andrew Viterbi. Israel is the startup nation, and you can see the stamp of the electrical engineering faculty of the Technion in each one of them. Through the decades at Technion, Andrew and Erna Viterbi established academic chairs fellowship and faculty recruitment programs, and Computech, the Andrew and Erna Finzi Viterbi Center for Advanced Studies in Computer Technology. Increasing the number of graduates of our Department of Electrical Engineering at the Technion is vital for Israeli economy, and it's also very important for Israeli defense, which is largely based on technological achievements, many of them developed by graduates of this department. Thanks to Professor Viterbi's gift, we were able to support many promising PhDs of our department during their postdoc, and then recruit them back as faculty members. And uh, this has completely transformed the department. Now this long-term partnership is sealed with a transformational gift that will guarantee Israel's preeminent role in the global high-tech arena. To meet the challenges, aggressive faculty recruiting is necessary to grow the department to a level necessary to reduce the student-faculty ratio and to cover evolving research areas. Among the key targets of these newly created teaching and research positions should be those engineers and scientists who have achieved success abroad, but would rather return home to contribute to this critical need when the opportunity arises. These are the goals which the Technion and faculty administrations have wisely established and which I am confident and proud that our gift will facilitate. Generations of Technion students and graduates of the Andrew and Erna Viterbi Faculty of Electrical Engineering will honor the Viterbi vision, carrying forth the proud heritage of pioneering innovation.